every once in a while, on, on rare and special occasions, there's, there's a, a level of agent recognition that has to be presented by the very highest levels. And today, those highest levels represent someone who rarely graces the stage, but she is always beyond stage. She's the person that helps make all these events happen. We're going to welcome two wonderful people to the stage, Michelle Frilo, Director of Conferences and Events for HDI, and the Managing Director of HDI, Craig Baxter. Let's bring them out. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we've all experienced the departure of colleagues in our professional lives. Uh, people decide to change companies, they move into new careers, they decide to retire. It's, it's, it's a natural cycle. We all hate to see people go, but we understand and accept it when it happens. Um, every once in a while, though, somebody moves on who so touches us, both professionally and personally, a truly special acknowledgement and recognition is deserved. Michelle? This next award is being given to an incredible individual. There are few special people out there who make a difference every day. A difference in the lives of people around them, a personal difference, a professional difference. For 20 years, HDI had the privilege of having one of those special people on staff. This person has made a difference in my life as I'm sure she's made a difference in many of your lives. On a personal level, this person is a lifelong friend who's been there when I needed advice or a warm-hearted chat. This person brightens rooms and lives on a daily basis. You've probably received a hug from this person, a hug that most likely made your day complete. On the business side, this person was responsible for recruiting and working with a vast army of volunteers to build an extremely important grassroots program at HDI, the local chapter program. This person was a rock, a rock in the lives of so many within the HDI community, and a rock in the lives of so many within the technical service and support industry. I'm privileged to stand in front of you today to honor a longtime HDI employee, now happily retired. This year, we dedicate the Rock of Our Foundation Award to our beloved Sophie Klossner. When Sophie retired last summer, we knew no retirement gift could be more fitting for her than a rock. If you know Sophie, you know that rocks are something unique to her. She's famous for telling us how each rock has its own unique flair, just as each person that works for HDI or joins HDI brings their own flavor to how they serve our co company and the community. I'm extremely pleased to present this award to Sophie Klossner to honor her passion, her commitment, her amazing light and her hugs, and of course, more than 20 years of service to you, HDI, and the HDI community. Sophie, we love you. Thank you so much for everything you've given HDI, its employees, and the community. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I l had the best job ever, and it was all because of you people and because of the challenge of one man. In 1999, Ron Munns brought HDI back. And at the time, I worked with the internal staff, whom I love dearly. But when Ron said to me, what do you all want to do? 
I said, I'd really like to work with the members. I would like to work with the local chapter people. And so he gave me that opportunity. And then about three years later, he said to me, Sophie, you need to go beyond what you're comfortable with. You need to stretch yourself. If you know Ron, you know that he's really good at throwing out a gazillion ideas. And one of them will stick. And I said, Ron, I know nothing about the IT world. I know people. And he said, then that's your passion. Find it. So in this world that we live in, this IT world, we have technology that takes us to the next level. We have the processes that keep us sane. But we have the people behind it that make it all worthwhile. You have no idea what it meant for me to see Michelle Frillo on this stage. In 20 years, and I've worked with Michelle at least 11 or 12 of those years, she would never come in front of the curtain. That means more to me than you'll ever know. Also, for those of you that don't know, I do lick rocks. I do believe that rocks have a spirit and a passion. And Ron Munns again said to me one year, Sophie, you need to honor those local volunteers. You need to recognize them. I said, great, I can do that. What's my budget? His answer was, you don't have one. <laughs> so I said, from that, I will find something. So many of you know that Kurt Wiesler tells stories about me. But because of him and because of the local chapter community that I've been a part of for so many years, you all know that rocks are a passion for me. They have a spirit, just like you do. Every one of them is different, just like you are. You're all an individual rock. Like you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. You have to find, lick a lot of rocks to find the right one. So because of that, because of the legacy that people share, I can go anywhere in the United States. I've been in the Dallas airport, at the Atlanta airport, and some stranger will walk up and say, excuse me, are you Sophie, the girl that licks rocks? <laughs> if that's my legacy, then I'm very, very proud of it. To all of you, thank you for this honor. To HDI, thank you for inviting me back, because it's been a real opportunity for me to come and see dear friends, people that I love more than life itself. Thank you, thank you, thank you.